Hello Cancer, welcome to your May 2017 reading to better understand the energies where this reading comes from I advise you to press pause and read the description do check out the channel for more content and to not stall any longer let's uh, continue with your reading so I will draw a diamond um, Yes, I would draw a diamond and the middle card, the first card is the issue that's concerning the matter, second card are the inside influences you are unaware of, the third card is the outside influences you are aware of, the fourth card is what's needed for a solution, and the fifth card is the solution or what comes clear when you pursue to this uh, endeavor. So after that, this reading I will pull out an Osho Zen tarot card and read from the booklet. And this tarot card is um, the point of focus of this month that will uh, resolve towards uh, paradoxes. So to, I will also use the booklet for the Los Carabio deck I'm using here, the Law of Attraction, to because I'm not a tarot reader, I'm more uh, of a musician so I, I will uh, continue this reading so the matter of the cancer is or the question is something with the past the six of uh, pentac uh, chalices or cups it came in reverse but I'm just going to read out um, the six of cups of the booklet so the Six of Cups is the past. If you want your dream to come true, plan your future accurately, making the best of past errors, possible indecision, weakness and obstacles. So what you are unaware of is a, a new beginning, the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords in this book is a new beginning for sure and it's all about thoughts and spirit of initiative so affirmation victorious struggle wealth fame the realization of your dream will bring you success in love and finances so definitely a new start and a new beginning to something prosperous in your life and the outside uh, influences you are aware of is the king of wands and it came in reverse so the king of wands is a fiery energy and the king of wands in this deck is standing for the gentleman an honest man committed important and indulgent can help you to achieve your dream trust him so you have somebody coming in in the month of may a man or a woman it doesn't matter he can be uh, beneficial towards you somebody who is trustworthy and is helpful and he will continue you on your path to uh, something, a new big, new endeavors on your path. And may, so he, this man might resolve issues from the past to set you free for a new beginning. Because what is needed for this solution, and I see this on your side, is the Knight of Pentacles. And that stands for a lot of work. So you do need to work on yourself and on to continue on this path. What is needed for the solutions is the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles in this deck stands for the worker. Good news about earnings. A successful person can help you make your dream come true advantages. So it might be someone coming in. You might be the one working hard. It might be somebody working with you because what we have for the solution is definitely a new beginning for you cancer because we have here another ace an ace of pentacles and the ace of pentacles is a new beginnings in uh, monies finances and, and stuff so i will read out this fast the nine of one uh, ace of wands 
So in, this is the beginning. It is very likely that your dream will come true because luck is on your side. Your desire for affirmation and success will bring you new opportunities. So you have uh, something completing in your life, Cancer. And for the point of focus uh, and keeping you zen, I w uh, this card is already pulling out straight away. So I will. This deck is shuffled bef after the last reading. So the card coming out for your point of focus is aloneness. So not to stall, I uh, will show you the card a little closer. So you can see this is probably the Hermit in a deck. So it's a major arcana. I will read out the card. So you have something major coming through if you focus on being aloneness. Or if you focus on your aloneness. So we have the major arcana. And I'm sure that's the Hermit. Uh, 9. Aloneness. 20. Aloneness. When there is no significant other in our lives, we can either be lonely or enjoy the freedom that solitude brings. When we find no support among others for our deeply felt truths, we can either feel isolated and bitter or celebrate the fact that our vision is strong enough even to survive the powerful human need for the approval of family, friends or colleagues. If you are facing such a situation now, be aware of how you are choosing to view your aloneness and take responsibility for the choice you have made. The humble figure in this card glows with a light that emanates from within. One emanates, yes, one of the Guatam Buddha's most significant contributions to the spiritual life of humankind was to insist to his disciples. Be a light unto yourself. Ultimately, each of us must develop within ourselves the capacity to make our way through the darkness without any companions, maps or guide. Well, very true. Aloneness. When you are alone, you are not alone. You are simply lonely. And there is a tremendous difference between loneliness and aloneness. When you are lonely, you are thinking of the other. You are missing the other. Loneliness is a negative state. You are feeling that it would be have been better if the other was there. Your friend, your wife, your mother, your beloved, your husband. It would have been good if the other was there, but the other is not. Loneliness is absence of the other. Aloneness is the presence of oneself. Aloneness is very positive. It is a presence, overflowing presence. You are so full of presence that you can fill the whole universe with your presence and there is no need for anybody. An upside and a downside to everything, Cancer. So thank you for watching this reading and I hope to see you next month for the June reading. Thank you for watching.